coach. You yes. are the coach of Islam Asinga, the man yeah. with the plan. So let me know how you feeling about this race you just ran. Um, I'm feeling really good about it. Um, I want, I was, we were hoping a little bit faster, obviously. Uh, the goal has been to see if we can get all four national records to windows to outdoors. But, you know, 10.05, you know, this track's not really known for fast times. Uh, I believe Carl Lewis had the fastest time ever here at 10.09. I've tried, Maurice Green has tried, so for him to come and do that, you know, it's spectacular. You know, make you proud, right? Oh, I'm super proud, super yes. proud. So now Isan was just having a grand old time when he came across the finish line looking all happy. So what does it mean to you? Him, he's so proud of his, he's so proud of his accomplishments. I think for me, it's more so because of the hard work and the trust that he has put in me. Um, obviously, being able to periodize training accordingly, um, something that he's had faith in me in terms of ups and downs and all of that kind of stuff. And I think that he's been able to deliver uh, when it's mattered. And I think it's because I've done my job and he's done his job, and you know we've made magic happen together. Exactly. So speaking of delivering when it matters, like. He's held his own against pros all season, really doing his thing. He's beat Noah Lyles, you know, that was going viral for a little while. So what are you doing with him to coach him and to make sure that he knows that he's capable of running against people that are faster than him or, you know, around the same speed as him? I think to be honest with you, Isam has it. You know, there's certain elements that you cannot teach an athlete. I think he has it. It's just trying to kind of put things orderly in, in his toolbox. And so it's mostly just conversation, answering his questions. I'm fortunate that I've had experience at the professional level, college level, high school level. So I'm able to step into his shoes and tell me it's going to feel like this, but do this and that. So it's been really, really good. It's really good. Has there been any times during the season where he might have doubted himself? And if so, then how did you um, make sure that he got back on track? Well, like 20 minutes ago, he was like, was that fast? Was that fast? I'm like, dude, it's fast. You know, uh, I think he has high expectations. And obviously, the world has expectations of him. Uh, so I wouldn't say it's really doubting himself. But there's some times where he just he, do he doesn't want to get cocky and complacent. And so I think my reassurance just allows him to know that he's doing well. Mm -hmm. So now imagine Isam is in here with us. As he moves up to the next level, what is one thing that you would want to tell him? No matter how great you become, you know, don't forget how you started. You know. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome.